Food is the one thing that unites people. And that's why I want to tell my story. I think there's a lot of women who also do this, but don't have a platform to share their art, their cuisine, or even their history. Hi, my name is Lucy Haro. I'm Peruvian American, and I'm here cooking up Peruvian soul food for the whole community of Los Angeles. I think my childhood was really fun because I got the best of both worlds. So grew up in America, but also was raised in Peru. And the beautiful thing is my family comes from small towns. So I got to share that going to the mountains, going to Cusco, going to the jungle. Looking back now, I feel like I had kind of like the Indiana Jones adventures. We would go look for artifacts when they found a new tome, or we would go look for the new village that was found, the monuments. And I don't think many people could say that. <laughs> we like to be at the heart of where we get our food. And I didn't really appreciate it when I was younger. You kind of feel like you're different. People don't know where to place you. You know, especially in Los Angeles, I'm not Mexican. But some people think I'm Asian. When you're younger, I think you kind of reject maybe your culture because you don't want to be different. But I did really love it. I, I thought all the things that we did in the kitchen, especially watching my grandmother and my mother work in there, it always seemed magical to me. I always cook Peruvian food just because that's what I helped my mom or grandma with. So it was always a family affair. Aunties, cousins, families are so big in Latin America and very close, right? There's no differentiation between first, second cousin, or just everybody's your cousin. <laughs> my grandmother could be 50 people in an hour. She, it was nothing to her. Like she had a commercial kitchen in her house. It was kind of funny. And I love the fact that you couldn't get those ingredients anywhere. It was, the ají amarillo, the quinoa. It seems very normal to me, but I think right now it's becoming a trend. So I'm excited that people are finding Peruvian superfoods to be really amazing. Being at UCLA as a student, it was really hard to get home cooking that I was used to. That was when I really began to think about how can I have my restaurant? And everyone advised me not to do Peruvian food, to do Latin food with a mix of Mexican and different Caribbean and South American dishes because that's what people know. But I was like, no, there's no Peruvian food. Let me do Peruvian food. Starting the restaurant, I did it with my mom because she's my guide in the kitchen. And I believe she was the one who made it easy for me. She did everything fresh. And so that's why I believe that everything can be super delicious and healthy because of her. I chose Cusco because in Quechua, it means belly of the world, center of nourishment. And that was the guiding principle in our culture, that food would unite people. So whenever they conquered a tribe, they would take the best dishes from that culture and incorporate it into Peruvian cuisine. And that tradition keeps going. Any other culture, I'm happy to have them here. I want to learn about their art. I want to know how they express themselves and feel joy from what they see. And I think that's how we get to understand people. You're always learning things, and that's the beauty about having an actual storefront. You're connected to the community, and so I got to see people's stereotypes of Latin food. And for the most part, people think Latin food is unhealthy. And so that motivated me to show people how healthy Latin cuisine is and proven cuisine. People just think about the carbs, but they don't understand that there's a lot more to Latin food than tortillas or rice. <laughs> I've been here for 17 years, and the, the goal has been the same. Get people to know about Peru. Learn about our culture, want the desire to go to Peru. I, I love the fact that we, we can provide these answers and maybe open up some eyes into something different. And I'm hoping that maybe long-term, we can do something bigger. I think that would be my legacy. If I could get people to know what ají amarillo is, quinoa, to leave these recipes behind for more people to enjoy and have more women use these ingredients to cook with. Learn from your mother and grandmother because this food that you're eating every day or that they cook for you is an art. And it nurtures you, not just in your body, but in your soul. And if you can just get a little piece of that, it's something that will always carry with you.